Before Dawn, welcome to episode 3 of my hardcore survival series. On day 21, I mounted up and took my horse on a trip to go exploring. And we came across another village. They didn't have much, but I looted them anyways. It was getting late, so I went to sleep. I was looting a grindstone, and when I turned around, I was busted by the green team, so I had to run. I was fine, but my horse took a pretty good beating. When I got back home, I made sure to feed my horse so he could heal up. Then the sun set, so I jumped into bed. On the morning of day 23, there was a creeper attack, but I dealt with it swiftly. I decided to release my very first villager because he still seemed to be obsessed with getting back to the village. Then I turned one of the other villagers into a weaponsmith. I replaced his grindstone until he gave me a good trade. I needed some iron and coal, so for the first time in this series, I went cave diving. There were a few mobs to kill, but in the end, I came out with a pretty decent supply. Luckily, my new villager's trades hadn't reset, so I was able to lock him in. Night fell, so I did the same, but into a deep slumber. I turned my remaining villager into an armor smith in the morning of day 24. Then I added a second layer to my farm. I converted my bottom farm from wheat to potatoes. The sun began to set, so I went to bed. I spent the entirety of day 25 farming with my villagers. I gave my villagers some bread in hopes that they would have a baby. It didn't work. So I replaced their beds to see if that would help. But night had fallen, so I had to wait until the next day. And I was excited to see that when they tried to breed again, it worked perfectly. I decided to test a theory and see if I could separate the baby villagers in an easy way. And it paid off immediately. And a little while later, while I was working on my farms, the villagers started breeding again. It was wonderful. And their baby immediately went to join the other one. And then it was time for bed. The next morning, I decided to prepare a makeshift villager trading hall. And I essentially spent the next three days farming and messing around with my villagers. And that brings us to the night of day 30.